Um, the second group that I worked with um, is the indigenous people of the Coastal Bend. Um, so they were actually pretty newly founded um, in 2021. And um, because um, and which was trying to build a new oil terminal in Corpus Christi where um, their land, ancestral lands um, are located at. Um, and so they really wanted to, you know, fight back um, and make sure that this oil terminal was not built. Um, but as a newly created um, group, while they had so, so much knowledge um, on, you know, different indigenous, indigenous science and in relationship to the land, et cetera, one thing that was more new to them was the practice of organizing. Um, and so I was really able to kind of help bring some of the experiences that I've had from organizing direct action and organizing protests um, and and really, you know, listen to them, but then also provide those strategies. Um, and so we ended up, they ended up um, organizing protests in six different cities um, in Texas. Um, and we were, you know, really trying to think through, for example, like who is the target and like, who are we trying to build power against? And like, for example, the location of the protest, how does that play into it, right? And just like little details like this that I was really able to help them think through. Um, and I'm actually really excited to announce that this oil terminal has still not been built. Um, so we've been able to delay this for quite a while now. This was supposed to be built in the beginning of 2022. Um, and they also have an ongoing law lawsuit um, against Enbridge. Um, and so the fight is still ongoing, um, but we see that, you know, direct action works um, and they've really been able to, to build power um, in the state of Texas and also recognition for the different tribes that they represent. Yeah, so I'm continuing to uh, work with the Climate Mobilization Network um, as we're building kind of a survival framework um, for a climate movement that is, you know, really grounded um, in community survival, um, in, you know, indigenous knowledge, in direct action, in dual power. Um, and it's really exciting because I think in all the campaigns that I've worked on, I've really seen the most change um, when there is really strong direct action, when there's really strong community building, um, when there's really strong mutual aid initiatives. Um, and so I'm really, you know, really excited to kind of shift that, um, shift the narrative around the climate movement um, in that direction.